Good evening, everyone. I'm Tassinix. Welcome to week four, round two of season 28, three versus three, Grand Arena Championship for Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. My opponent, Art Commander, the War Machine of Maw. If you were here at the start of the season, he was my opponent for week one, round one. So uh, I was able to win that match. <coughs> so is this the vengeance of Art Commander tonight? We will soon find out. Let's go ahead and get the hotbox comparison up on screen, yeah? Get y'all familiar with what we're looking at. And hey, uh, let's see, we got Mos Eisley Mangler in the chat. And Riggs, uh, resubscribed here for two months, man. Appreciate you. Thanks for being with us tonight, Riggs. Thanks for your resub, and appreciate your good luck. Um, it's a big account, so we definitely have to be, you know, correct on our business. All right. So yeah, I, I fell from rank 4 to rank 7. It's not so bad. Um, <coughs> our commander's here at 11 right now. Alright, GP-wise, I'm 10.4 to his 10.7. Top 80, my 2.77 to his 2.81. So a little bit of advantage his way. Uh, Zetas, my 221 to 226. So pretty close. Omicrons, my 12 to his 13. Pretty close. Uh, top 80 average speed, 136. For me, 143 for him. Guy is just a wash in speed. Just incredible gap. So that's kind of concerning. When we get down to the mod analysis, so I've got more six dots at 1084 to his 895, but that's where the good news ends. Uh, for plus 25s, he's got 79 to my 61. Plus, uh, plus 20s, 274. To my 194, like 80, literally 80 more plus 20s. Oh my god. 20 to 24s. 195 to 133. Like 58 more, right? Just, oh, just, oh man, he's just massive. So I, I know I can beat him because I beat him before, but uh, he's got a lot of numbers. A lot of numbers on his side. Uh, hey, uh, Inked, good to see you in the chat, man. Good evening to you. Happy Sunday, guys. Hope you guys got a drink if you haven't gotten one already. Um, I am having my bourbon with one ice cube slowly melting into it, letting it chill down, and then I'll get to sipping. But, uh, all right, moving past this, yeah, Relic Levels. Uh, <laughs> Relic 9s, my 12 to his 15. Relic 8s, my 42 to his 56. Relic 7s, my 87 to his 96. So just beaten on all counts there. Now, we noticed this uh, pattern with the GLs that most of mine are, f well, I guess three of mine are faster. So, all right, it's not that big of a pattern. I was going to say, uh, there, there are opponents that try not to concentrate like their absolute best mods in their GLs so that they can have their A teams really cranked. Um, doesn't seem to be a deliberate strategy on this, on this opponent's behalf. Now, this could all be TW modding here. So, this could be a complete ruse. We won't know until we have a look-see. Most Eisley, maybe some of his tunes are missing mods like last time. Was he missing mods at the start of the season? Ooh, well, I mean, okay. Him missing mods makes a big difference. Um, that's a good one. All right, hey, Belor, what's going on? Okay, uh, by the way, guys, uh, in the chat, actually, yeah, let me let me start a poll. I want to get what you guys think on, um, where is that? I want to see what you guys think about, when you're using DR versus JML at Relic 9, do you feel it's better uh, with Watt or with Malik? So, let's start that. Um, new poll. this up here do 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 okay and we'll let the poll go for 
Uh, we'll let it go for five minutes. I'm in no rush in particular. So we'll see what you guys say about that. Okay. Hey, Balor, what's going on? Um, all right, we're just going through his key characters here. So Super Cranked DR at 356. I love that. Uh, Fast Cat 373, a little slower than mine, which might be nice. We'll see. Maul 331. Um, so very fast, kind of a Mandalorian lead meant, but you know, 10,000 damage is okay. I've definitely seen people pushing 11,000, so being sub 10 or just barely sub 10 seems kind of eh. Um, Piat at 350 is great. Getting to 371 is monstrous. You can shut <laughs> almost most things down. Most things can just uh, take a seat. All right, and then you got Bad Batch Echo at 364. Mmm, that's a good one. All right, so the capital ships. Uh, he's got, you know, the same Piet and GK at Relic 9 that I do, so no advantage there. Top 5 speed, his JML at 562. Wow. So you remember, if this is the guy that you guys were saying, if this is the guy that was missing the mod on JML early in the season, it was his arrow. And 562. And what I ended up doing was doing JML mirror because I could, because I was going to go first for sure. And that's definitely not going to be the case today. So we can't rely on that, right? Um, all right, let's think about this. Commanders. So a Commander Ahsoka Tondo, ugh, Tano at 373, Darth Revan at 356, Mara Jade at 371, and Queel at 361. Extraordinary to have Queel this fast in 3 verse 3. Um, here, let me get this back up. Transition. Uh, back over to scene. All right. So, all right, let's get back into this. All right, let's go over my defenses. Art has not taken any moves. I think he didn't take any moves on us early either. I think I had to go fill that back in um, when Swagga.gg updated the next week. So we don't expect to see any of his attacks here while we're live. Uh, so up top, we've got Boss, Zam, and Boba. We've got Grief, B2, Magna. Then, um, <coughs> excuse me. Dash, Dadbod, and L3. Fin Fin Po, and then Qui-Gon, JKA, Cam. Down bottom. We have Ray, Han Chewy. We have CLS, Chupio, C3PO. JMK, Cat, Jedi Knight, Guardian. JKL, Shock T, and GK. And then Gas, Rex, Fives. And that's all I can say for now. Okay, up top for his offense, or for his, rather for his defenses. So my offensive review. He has CLS, Chupio, C3PO, and how are they configured? Really large, incredible to have Chupio at Relicate. Um, tenacity set up. Yeah, this has got Thridian written all over it. Thridian written all over it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, RJT has just fallen into the toilet this season because of people modding specifically to dumpster that team. That's how dominant the RJT BB-8 R2 thing was as a counter for CLS. Um, forcing Thridian is forcing different resources to be used, and I'm down with it. It's, it seems fair. Ooh. Just got a text. My, so, you guys might be hearing my daughter roaming around. Um, okay. But my wife is uh, on business travel here until Sunday. And, uh, yeah. I am on dad detail full time with the little one. So. Oh, my God. I'm live. I'm live, so see you on stream. All right. Yeah, my wife made it to her hotel, so that's good news. All right. 
So, uh, up top, he's got CLS, 2PO, C3PO. Yeah, we're gonna 3D in that. Shock T, uh, Ark, and Echo. Then Dooku, GG, and Magna. Dash, L3, and Dad Bod. And then Darth Vader, um, Set, and Talon. And yeah, I love, love, love this team on offense, but I don't, don't like it at all on defense. He's just going to crush first, man. It's just going to be wasted. Um, hey, Yeti, what's going on? Okay. Oh, the poll ended. Everybody was saying Malik was the way to go. Okay. All right. I can dig that. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I got to do the dad stuff. It's true, Balor. It's a good time, though. Uh, first time chatter. Oh, hells yeah. That Dooku GG Magna is curious. I like it. Never seen or thought of that as a 3v3 idea. There are a couple Dooku GG comps I've seen moving around, and I've tried a couple of them, so I'm not here to, to say that they're not worth testing, but in my experience, um, they've never gotten anything impressive on defense out of my opponents. Uh, the most impressive thing you can do there is set nest with it, right? And and then, but then it's like, you could tray of that team already. Now you're just concentrating resources into a trayable team. Like, there's something to be said for how people are putting Treya on defense with like really good teams. When you could put Treya on defense probably with just junk, right? Uh, sorry, not Treya, net. I don't know why I'm saying Treya. Um... You could put Nest on defense with, like, junk, and it would probably still draw a pretty damn good counter. Anyway. Yeah, the Dooku uh, GG Magna is probably going to go down pretty easily. Yeah, 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 Mary J. All right, we're going. We You're just in time. We're heading on down to the bottom front wall. Hopefully you got your drink ready. Okay. JMK, Mace, and Cat. So, ability block risk. Ahoy. Um, let's see here. Then followed by Lord Vader, Thrawn, and Maul. So check this out. You know the bounty hunter counter that everybody's been doing that makes you really not want to set Lord Vader on defense. I checked the win rate for what happens when you throw Thrawn into the mix. Get out of there. Get out of that closet, cat. Get. Why are you in the closet? Get. Damn it. All right. So anyway, the, the, the win rate is like 40-something percent if you try to use any variant of the Fennec. You want to use Bosk, you want to use Bam. Uh, doesn't matter. It's terrible. It's very, very bad for that. So we will not be attempting that tonight. Uh, JML, Grandmaster, and Ezra. Yeah, this could be bad news for a lot of different teams, but I think I'm going to run the full DR against it since you guys recommended it so strongly. We had 80% voting in favor of using Malik, so that's fair. <laughs> yeah, that cat. <laughs> uh, yeah, Katie's going to pop the pull-up <laughs> Uh, well, you know, I mean, it is it is lonely when the miss is out of town. I'm not trying to apologize for that. Okay, then we've got Ray, uh, Hoda, and Holdo. Ugh, don't say that five times fast. All right, and then it's Gas, Rex, and Fives. Hey, TJ, what's going on, man? Thanks for the good luck. Um, good evening to you. We're just about to get started here. So we just finished reviewing what's at the bottom front. And yeah, let me go ahead and restart the game and we'll get underway. Cat, I swear, I am going to turn you into a hat. Stop it. She keeps like attacking the phone cord. She's, you know how cats are when they have that, uh, it's, it's usually shortly after dinner, I find. Just complete spaz. Just a complete spaz. And that is exactly what she's doing right now. Why are you being like this? More importantly, why are you being like this here? You have like a room with cat toys, cat tower, le legitimate things for you to scratch at. Like, not the phone cords or the closet. Hmm? Alright. 
I heard something. I heard some kind of chime. Oh, hells yeah! Gave me the follow and the sub with Prime! Thank you so much, hells yeah! Thank you! Welcome! Welcome, welcome! Uh, yes, I do love my hats. That's right. <laughs> it is a great time to redeem Kitty. That's right. Hold it above me, and then she starts to squirm and turns into like a Tasmanian devil, and then I start bleeding on stream. But yeah, thank you, hells yeah. That's advancing the uh, the sub goal, man. Uh, it's not all that long ago when Nomads came in here and dropped like 120-something uh, subs on us. And we're well on our way to 250, so thank you, uh, hells yeah. All right, um, Belor redeemed Kitty, so let's get the man what he paid for. 10,000 chance. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here, kitty. She's, she thinks I still am mad at her. Come here. Oh. You're very, very sweet. You're very sweet. I love you. You're a good kitty. You just need to chill out. Here we go. There we go. Kitty on stream. This is now Kitty stream. This is Miss Tinsel. She's a good girl. That dump truck. <laughs> uh, Tyler, thank you. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right. She is a good girl. Uh, let's get rolling, guys. Got a lot of work to do tonight. All right. I wrote everything down as usual on my spreadsheet, so... What's our pleasure? Let's do Starkiller first. Hmm. P. Marjade. Grab him right from there. My god, my nose just itches now from holding her so close. <laughs> I'm your hero. Alright, Balor. You could probably do better for a hero, but I'll take it. Alright, let's go. Um, oh yeah, we gotta get the combat music rolling. Does anybody know the hookup on some dope Star Wars music that is, or, you know, Star Wars sounding music, I guess, that's uh, royalty free? Because the previous music I was using is not cutting it anymore. Alright, let's go ahead. But I'll still use it until I find something, because it's, uh, you know, I don't have, like, you know, a, a enormous viewership on my GAC YouTube recordings. It's not, uh... It's not something I'm urgently worried about, but it would be something nice to work out. All right, so yeah, the game plan is we should be able to control Hoda if we're good about using our third ability from Star Killer. We now have all three Omicrons, and even just last battle, that second Omicron definitely did some work for us against against an RJT of all things that was set down with a ray. All right. Let's see here. Let's roll. Aw, sweet girl. Cut. Um... Eh? Hmm. AoE wouldn't be too meaningful right now, aside from getting rid of the crit immunity, which I guess isn't nothing. Okay. We're, we're happy that Master's Training went on to Holdo. We're less happy when that happens. Okay, she's in damage immunity. This is good. 
Let the circle complete. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. So they're still jammed up. Um, you've got damage immunity yet. Yeah, that's... That is no bueno. Um, we want her to gain a bit more turn meter, I think. No, I mean, the heal can be bad. I guess we can land the healing immunity here. Okay. Yeah, 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 that's not good. It is certainly not good. Ooh, boy. So, probably, you know, that's just unfortunate, man. It's just unfortunate. Hmm. That is so much damage that we are about to take. And not a lot you can do about it, either. Um, it still works. Ugh. don't get a Palpatine to call. But now we're procced, and now we ship. SHIP IT! Ah, come on, man. Um... Yep, that was the one. Alright. It was all according to plan. 54. <laughs> uh, 54 plus 10. Alright. Yeah, that sucked. I mean... I guess I could have tried to spread out the damage on Holdo earlier and not gone right after Rey uh, so directly. Because that mean, that's where I invited two whirlwinds before the first ultimate. And that's why we lost uh, Emperor Palpatine, right? Yes, but for the grace of God, Balor. Uh, thank you, thank you, uh, SLJS. I'm, I, I, I'm gonna say that said Pico. I, I'm hoping that's how that said. I do not speak French in any way, but I'm sure you do. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that was very, very fortunate, guys. Hey, Wiz, what's going on? Alright, cheers, guys. Uh, we got the hydrate from Belor, so let's have our, have our do. Okay, so, um, yeah, we're going to do this Darth Revan here, and we'll do the full nasty, since that's what you guys have suggested. Um, I've heard tell of, you know, I've used Watt and failed before, and I don't want to fail again. Uh, I've been told that the reason, part of the reason I failed is because later in the fight, I was afraid of JML just doing a push so big that if I had high stacks of ferocity, I could just get knocked right out of existence, right? Um, so that's why on Watt's turns, after the initial techs were out, I was having him use his basic to cleanse Darth Revan, which was an error. Uh, I cost myself so much damage, and that's why I was never really able to get through him. Um, Malik, I understand, makes this easier. Um, it's just a shame because, you know, if you can use Watt here instead, uh, man, you know, Malik is, uh, Malik is a god. But, you know, there's still another opportunity. You could do, like, 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 crew, Watt, and, uh, First Order Executioner. Uh, it's not as good as it used to be, but it's it's still all right. All right, let's go ahead and do this one. You can hear my daughter bouncing in the background. Okay, fear. You guys don't need turns. Additional fear, part two. This film. Um. So the thing is, you're the only one that would take double damage right now. So let's go ahead. No. Damn. 
Alright, we can shock here, but it's probably not the best move because we've got crit immunity. Maybe better just to basic. Let's go ahead and uh, do this. Get that out there. Alright. So, you know, he can't meaningfully drain JML. But he can meaningfully drain right there. That there's a good one. Um, let's see. Let's just fork off, force the death mark. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. As it turns out, I am liking this one better. We'll save the dispel for when we drop shock, I imagine. Uh, I think this other heal can't be resisted, but ability blocks also probably good. Um, jeez. The fear, I guess. Yep. Shock this. Hell yeah. That is just. That is just nasty. Okay. I took, you know, I, I was thinking it might not be enough to one shot him with just the initial burst, so that's why I targeted him. I could have just stayed on JML and gotten extra basic for free, but save up here. Uh, let's go ahead and just start bulking him up. Since it's just the man himself now. Um, yeah, we've got high, high, high stats. Let's just make these good. More big hits. Can't fear. Let's just basic. Yeah, another mistake I made last time is I used um, auto battle at a certain point, and I can't. I can't say that it's a good idea. You gotta keep that shock up, friend. Stay shocked. Stay shocked. Uh, I'll read chat in a minute, guys. I promise. I, I definitely cannot afford to do it right now. Uh, we have to try and keep shock up on the old boy. Um, ability block is still probably the best medicine. Nice. We get to fear and basic follow up from that because he had uh, corrupted battle meditation. There it is, 53. All right, so we got through, and we used the full team to do it. You know, the reward of being able to um, do it with Watt is Malik Solo is great against a variety of teams in 3 vs 3. It's pretty much a guarantee. But you know what? Like, I've had situations where I've dropped using Wampa and then gone on to Malik Solo something. So, you know, if I one-shot something with Wampa or with Malik the first time and then go on to one-shot something later with Wampa, I can live with that. All right. Um, against Lord Vader, Thrawn, and Maul. So I'm thinking it's JML, Grandmaster, and Zerus. Oh yeah, let me catch up with chat here, guys. Uh, kitty! Um, yeah, that's right, Belor got the kitty. That's right. Um, uh, ba-ba-ba. Use the butt cheeks force choke. Ha 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 ha! Oh god. Yeah, I'm glad that one worked out. Okay, Kylo, you're facing casual 10.7 million GP. Uh, alright, good stuff. Nothing too crazy. Alright, alright. Well, you have fun with that, man. Uh, so, yeah, Joe Lee doesn't really impress in, in this matchup. We do want JML because he's really quick about charging... I'm sorry, we want Grandmaster because he's really quick about charging JML's ultimate. And then Barris, um, you know, the, the biggest issue here is, oh, Tass, why don't you use Shakti here if you had her? I mean, Shakti's on defense, but um, you know, we have this unique. At the end of each of her turns, she dispels all debuffs from the weakest debuffed ally and gains 10% turn meter for each debuff removed. So that's especially advantageous uh, against Lord Vader, who's stacking just all this damage over time, right? Um, it's just a whole bunch of debuffs that get yoinked. And that's probably what we'll end up needing at a certain point to maybe keep our, 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 uh, Grandmaster. So that's, that's the theory behind having Barris here as opposed to anything else. 
All right, here we go. I hear you, sweet girl. Yeah, that happening first is uh, the definition of not great. Alright, so at least you've got buffs, but everybody else is dazed, so let's go ahead and uh, just spread foresight and goodness to people. Let's go ahead and work him down, if at all possible. Um, a slap. Okay. So, we don't need to worry about... Yeah, defense up doesn't help us against what's gonna come. Um, we'll just basic, if you please. Thank you, that dispels. Okay. So yeah, JML's looking pretty live. Um, okay. Doesn't matter. Um... We can slap here. Probably into this. Because anything and everything that I can do to uh, advance the ultimate. Because he is about to hit the fan, man. It is bad, bad times for us. Um. Okay, I think we might even be okay right here. Ooh, just short, just short, just short. Mmm. Ooh, man. All right, all right, all right. This is where things get rough. So, Xeris should take care of Grandmaster here. Yep, Grandmaster hopefully gets to live. And now we should be okay. Alright, um, yeah, let's drop all that. Okay, please heal up. <laughs> yes, please, though. Alright, let's go ahead and work him over. Um, all the good stuff, please. It's gonna be tough because he can heal, right? So no healing immunity. Um, setting his cooldowns back is probably a good call. Holding you. Keep him in check. Yeah, he's still got all that going on. That's a bummer. Um, we would get our extra turn here, but that's probably not to our advantage. Not until she goes. Um, she's got days, but at least the heal went out. And now he gets the dispel, right? Oh, jeez. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Just basic for a good heal. And bop. And heal. Spread. We gotta work him down, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Okay. Okay. You're working it. Get him. The heal sucks. Um, nope. Just, just big hits, please. We just need damage. His healing is brutal. At this point, we might consider what we have to use as a cleanup. Uh, if the worst should happen. Heal up, heal up, heal up. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, let's go. Just just put it on auto basic. Let's see if we can't work it down. Come on, bud. Come on, bud. That part sucks. Yep, you getting healed at all just really sucks for me in the general sense. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Okay, let's just freeze it there then. All right. So, we'll be able to clean that up relatively easily, I think. Um, something with... He ended on Crush, didn't he? So comment, one drop. Um, perhaps too much time spent not on auto. Uh, ended the, you know, timed out. Timed out with only JML remaining and LV at red HP. So we can clean that up. Okay, uh, let's see. Yeah, JML was doing pretty good for us. Yeah, auto put me in the bad. I don't know, man. I think at the point that I put it on auto, my only concern was that I put it on auto too late. So, what's going to take this down? Um, can't Mon Mothma do the trick here? It would be like Mon Mothma, Katarn, and... Um, Hoth Rebel Scout, something like that. Uh, he didn't use his AOE yet. Okay, that's a good good catch there, Tyler. Appreciate you, man. Hey, Famulus, what's going on? Haven't talked to you in a minute. What's uh, what's up? Okay, so if he's got the crush, the crush is not great. Are we talking? A Wampa cleanup? Does that even work? Does Wampa cleanup work against a solo Lord Vader? I mean, it's also very low health. Uh, man. Yeah, the crush would be bad if we if we take that crush, man. Hmm. Uh, no, sir. Only JMK and Ray. Hmm. Full clear. Nice. Nice. Good job, Famulus. Good stuff. Fennec can technically clean up. Yeah. Fennec solo, though? I don't think so. I don't think so. Alright. Um, we'll think about that one. Probably Mom Mothma. What's up, baby girl? Alright, you're looking alright. Um, for JMK, let's go ahead and do our Sith thing. And we'll grab GBA. That ear-piercing squeal that you are hearing is my daughter. That is my daughter enjoying her trampoline. That ear-piercing squeal of delight. <sighs> All right. Could I bosk Fennec? Yeah, probably Pico. Um, I mean, I don't have bosk, but you know, there's definitely some kind of Fennec thing. We could Bounty Hunter it to clean it up, but at this point, I'd like to save Bounty Hunters for, you know, uh, an actual kill elsewhere, right? <laughs> that last Kenobi episode, guys, I don't want to talk about spoilers for anybody else, but you gotta get at me on Discord or something, we can talk about it later, but, dude, I mean, you know the moment I'm talking about without me even saying it, but... Never, never thought I'd, never thought I'd see that in Star Wars, and it was like, all right, all right, all right. So let's do this. Show me the juicer. Show your juicer. Okay. 
here we go. One, two, put our two stack out. Uh, we definitely pick up our freebie. Welcome back to the, to the fray, friend. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. All right, now we just bide our time for a bit. Yeah. Yeah, it was, uh, well, Kenobi Show, I mean, there's definitely some things I'm, I'm not, I'm not entirely thrilled with so far, but there are also things that probably get amended by the show just actually, you know, uh, going the way it's meant to go. Alright guys, so here's the crazy part. Do we just get worked down uh, after this? Because those ability blocks can be a bear, man. It's probably a, uh, a potency cross there on Mace. Oh, jeez. Ooh. Ooh. Um, we can't heal. Everything sucks. Ability block for literal eons. Ooh. Come on. Ah, oh, we are in big trouble. Big trouble. That's a bad one. Mm. All right, now that the squealing is done, it's okay, baby girl. Daddy's still here. She was upset that she was isolated from daddy, but daddy didn't want the squealies. What do you want, child? Hold on, folks. I'm being hauled away for a second. It's part of the digs. What's up? think about this. Hmm. Alright, let's think about how to do this. Yeah, yeah, but by I thought about having Watt in there, but the problem is there's nothing... Er if you have Watt, then that means that you can't have a pre-taunt, and you need to have um, armor. So if you're going to run with armor and Watt, that means that Cat can delete whoever she wants and that's probably going to be armor and that's going to be the end of that. So that's why I thought this was worth risking because it's like, eh, I mean, eh, you got to try. You got to try. You don't really want to get locked down by this. Uh, but locked down we were. All right, now to get through this is probably a nightmare. Be very difficult to pick this apart, but I am mostly concerned about what I'm going to do with this one. All right, let's think about how this works. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe some type of Lord Vader attempt here against JMK. Hmm. Means that we're probably looking at trying to do a two shot on gas. All right. gonna do about you man
I guess my Mothma is probably still the best idea. It's not quick to cleanse, but it's maybe capable. Nah, but it's so it's such a it's such a yeah. Yeah, the reason the reason is that you really don't want to be taking the crush until you can have um, your trooper on the field, so that Mon Mothma's basic, which gets called every time another rebel goes, uh, will cleanse one of her allies. So we got this, and I'm feeling like, um, am I feeling like Cassian? Cassian's got a healing immunity. I feel like this can go sideways on us. Um, who does our tenacity down on this team? Is it you? No. Somebody does tenacity down on this team. I forget who right now. We probably want to make use of that, though. Yeah, healing. Yeah, that's kind of a tough, tough situation. Yeah, we we're we're gonna have to figure something out that is crazy, Pico. It's gonna be that kind of evening. Um, that that drop with Sith Eternal was really unfortunate. The one here on Lord Vader is uh, manageable, but that means that we've got a tough path ahead of us. So we would just end up needing to race around him. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that's the answer. I'll find it. Oh, what about some kind of throwaway Sith thing? In the very worst case, hmm. So we could do something like this. So, Maul lead, Sith Marauder. Sith Marauder would at least do a big hit. We've got Sidious to do the, um, I mean, Sith Marauder's big hit's kind of meh. Probably having Sith Assassin for shock and more turns for Sidious is smarter. Yeah, high potency mace. Yeah, that's, I mean, it's tough. I mean, I think the natural tenacity of uh, Sith Eternal is pretty high, but probably not naturally 105 high. So D2 Outlet, you're saying, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, no, that's right, you're referring to why the Sith Eternal thing didn't work. Yeah, I agree, man, but, eh, that was, uh, that was a risk I had to take. Alright. You had a 15% chance, yeah, to, to resist. Yeah, I hear you, I hear you. All right, so let's think here. Uh, yeah, I mean, the good thing about this team is that it can draw something, so. Oh, okay. Let's see what happens, guys. All right, he uses his middle, then basic, so. Not exactly the situation as advertised now, was it? Uh, let's go ahead and do the shock here. Uh, basic. All right, good stuff. We managed to land that. Um, I think days would be great. We take the crush. No healing there. All right, so we take the crush though. I think it's. It might be. Well, is it worthwhile to really let it time out? Uh, it might be better just to try and chip him down if we're going this chip him down way. 
because this might be a very low efficiency clear night, guys, if it's a clear at all. So I think I have to abandon any kind of pretense at good banners. Um, yeah, I don't give a crap about that. Well, I guess it's okay. Okay, well that part's not, not as good. Okay. So there comes his basic. Um, Sidious may well keel over here, and he's going to be capable of healing off of this next thing. So it might be... Yeah, didn't he counter into Sidious? That's why his turn meter's so high. Yeah, because it was lower earlier, so he's got a turn coming up. Um, but he still doesn't have Crush for a time. So that means that there's probably like a, a decent chance of doing some kind of First Order thing. Cheesing him down, beating him down. Alright, let's mark this up. I think we're going to let this one time out. So, channel. Oh, yeah, man. We got a comment up about that sea loss. So, yeah. Um, one drop and 105% potency mace locked down C. Uh, so, he wasn't able to delete after ultimate. Yep. Yep. We saw we saw the writing on the wall when we saw how quickly um, GBA went down after the ultimate. That's when things got real. Hmm. All right. Juice them up. Juice them up. Hmm. Yeah, we're, we're still just going to wait this one out. So the original plan was to use Lord Vader to clear gas, but we're probably going to need Lord Vader to make an attempt on JMK. The question is, do we attempt to... I think we know from experience that trying to pick apart JMK Cat is really, really difficult to pull off at all. And then with this mace, it's even more dangerous to try. Still, I think Fennec... Maybe not Fennec. Maybe like... Well, I don't know. I'll have to think about that. I don't know about a lot of ways to pick that apart. Hmm. I'll tell you what, guys. We still got about a minute left. Uh, I'm going to put us up on a drink break and go refill. So, see you guys here in a minute. Yeah? coming back 
Hey Falcon in the chat. Uh, what did you miss? You just joined the stream. Um, so yeah, we used Darth Revan and took out JML in a one shot. We used Starkiller to one shot Ray. Um, we used JML, Grandmaster, and Zerus to take on Lord Vader. And we got him down into the red, but he finished the fight uh, quickly to have his crush come back around. So, yeah. Um, and then against this JMK team, Mace was real bad news, guys. Let's see, decent speed. But yeah, the potency is pretty detrimental here, for sure. So, yeah, this is a pretty decent modding. I, I like it, and it's, uh, I mean, it's basically asking you to mirror it, I think. Mirror it or slacker, I guess. Slacker Doc a zombie would have no impediment, so we'll see. Hmm. Against this, I think I have to try some kind of empire thing. I don't have anybody that gets to come back, unfortunately. So I think I want two tanks. Um, hmm. Yeah, it feels pretty bad. Because it's going to take us a while to charge up our ultimate and everything. Hmm. All right. So this is against a preload. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be interesting. All right, let's see what we get here. Is there really is there nothing better suited? See, I guess we could use crew, but then that kind of disables me having like a secondary first order team, right? Because I have Hux reserve to use with the first order Tie pilot and probably Red. So if I use Crew here, assuming that Royal Guard gets deleted first, Crew would be able to take a, a beating better than Ninth Sister, for sure. Um, once the healing immunity gets applied, it probably doesn't matter too much. So it's better resource-wise, probably, just to save Crew. I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah, it's definitely a struggle, Falcon, for sure. We're, we, we definitely have a rough situation in front of us. Because by using Lord Vader here, we're essentially committing to some kind of multi-shot approach to getting through gas. So it's going to be a nightmare. But we do just have to get through this wall somehow. Here we go. Alternatively... Um, I might get like completely wrecked early and uh, not have to worry about streaming for three hours. Darling wife, if you're in the chat, just order me McDonald's if I lose. Uh, I'll want the, uh, the comfort food. Make me feel better about my miserable lot in life. Okay, that's good. All these things are good so far. We're not really that doing that great on getting ch ultimate charge because we're not uh, having debuff people getting beat on, which is pretty much our thing, man. All right, now somebody gets deleted, and it's a damn shame too. Um, since we're already all full health, no, let's keep the let's keep the healing. Let's assume that that's going to be worthwhile. Uh, screaming for three hours. No, I'm saying, uh, I'm saying if I can't get through this, it won't be a long stream. That's basically what I'm saying. Alright, he's got his ultimate. No point in using my crush there. Yeah, exactly. Do what you're gonna do, jerk. Um, the very, you know, I could crush onto this, but it doesn't feel... Well, no, we could do that, right? Because then it would reduce the cooldown by two, and then it would come kind of pretty quickly back around. Um, why not? We need the help with the damage. Probably. Probably.
probably. So close and yet so far. Okay, almost. Okay, kind of almost, yes. You just need to calm the hell on down. Okay, good healing. Big hit with that armor shred. Man, she is something. That's a mean one right there. Alright, we gotta try and knock her down. Or kill him, I don't care. Let's. Okay, he didn't at least. At least he didn't damage immunity that one. There's a snowball's chance in hell we might even kill him. Uh, let's take the healing while you can. Uh, this is not looking good though. I mean, we have to kill him first. I think he's just gonna get in our way. Do anything else? So probably the second ultimate is gonna be his uh, last hurrah. Yeah, alright, so they're working their way back up to the next ultimate. Yeah, and then we're probably gonna get worked down, guys. It's looking grim. Being at half health right here with, uh... I don't know, man. Yeah, see, that's all perfect in time and everything, and I just... Yeah, well, I wanted to use that to charge the ultimate. That's probably not the worst decision I've made. Um... Basic, and then he heals again. My god, everything just lines up perfectly for this JMK. Come on, Broham, you gotta give me a turn. Alright, let's do this. Um, give me my crush. I gotta hope that the crush is enough to buy me something. Okay, so now we get to at least big heal on that. That's a nice one. Please kill him. For the love of all things sacred, please kill him. Okay, please kill her. Okay, now this is this can be bad in itself, but we gotta put it on auto now. Gotta put it in the hands of the gods. Woo! Kick the shit out of him, young man. Beat his ass. Ha ha! Probably should have done that from the first place. Wow! Um, well, no, shouldn't have done that in the first place, because remember, we, we the good thing about this preload is that they were a long way away from se uh, resetting Cat, so that worked. All right, so there is still yet a path, a gruesome path forward, but we have made it. All right, so it was Ninth Sister and Royal. For 33, man, that was a good one. I was, uh, I was worried this was going to be a real short stream. <laughs> That's right, I am certain we had some favorable RNG. Child, you cannot be coming on camera with no diaper. Why do you not have a diaper? Be right back. Be right back. This child, I swear. That's right. Yeah, indeed, reducing cooldowns allowed me to go through. That's that's right. Yeah, for sure. Um, man. That was a stressful one, guys. All right. So, it's still not, you know, it's, we're, we're by no means at some kind of done deal here when it comes to uh, this fight.
Wish I had more healing immunities for times like this. and cheap. Too bad we can't uh, Jawa our boy. Okay, so I'm thinking like the cheapest thing I could reasonably throw at this would be like Night Sisters. And we don't need to live through all that much, right? I mean, yes, the heal would be pretty important. But hear me out. Um... I don't know. This, this, and this? Well, we don't really... That's just big damage. The Yeah, I don't care for that. That's no good. Hey, Northern, what's going on? Yeah, hey, I hope I don't lose too, man. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a hot tip. I'll, I'll take that. <laughs> um, what are we going to do, man? I need some kind of healing immunity solution. So how about it? One... One, two, three. I don't know if there's enough damage in that. There might be. The crew doesn't help us a whole lot here. Crew lead. Good tank, I suppose. But once that crush goes out, it's it's going to get pretty desperate, right? So that's why you'd want to deal with it with red, ideally. Yeah. Mm. I'm going to figure it out, guys. I just need a minute. What about this? So we have shock, we have offense. Asajj is probably not the droid we're looking for. Um, maybe spy for one perilously big hit. So I think this might work. Let's give this a go. Let's pen it in. Hoggle, Dooku, spy. I think we've got uh, Snowball's chance in hell with this one. Somebody that ability blocks, somebody with high damage that allows assisting. Um, yeah, it's a little bit of assist, I guess. I think Poggle does have something like that. Yep. Yep, grant all Separatist allies, then call another target ally to assist. So we could certainly call Dooku at our discretion. Um... We don't have a tenacity down here. I guess that's a reason to have um, soldier. So we could do that. Because soldier has tenacity down on basic. Meaning that we're, you know, assured to have, um, you know, Dooku land that shock. Yeah, Poggle Lead's definitely worth going through. I think probably Soldier feels better, even though Spy... I don't know, man. Spy feels like he could be really... 
Really important. Because that big hit's our best hope. The tenacity down is sick, but it might be just a risk I have to take that we don't land the shock. What's his tenacity situation? It's It can't be... Yeah, I can't... Yeah, I mean, we're pretty likely to land that shock, guys. The thing is, and he's going to remove that shock pretty easily anyway. So I think, I think going for a longer fight is a bad call. Let's do this. See what happens. We can always try to back out if necessary, but I know I won't need these resources elsewhere because we already use GBA. Nice. Ability block is spicy. Okay. How many turns are you going to take? Ass. And the shock, okay. It's, all this is bad. All this is very bad. Uh, this dispels us, though, right? And then we call target ally to assist. Probably do to again. Um, basic. How about it, Spy? Oh, no, the big bop wasn't that big. That's not good. Um, I mean, dispelling yourself right now isn't the, the moment. I need just damage, if you please. Again, just the damage. Just the damage, man. Please just die, you bastard. Oh my god, he's gonna heal off that. And then it's gonna be grim. Alright, well, at least, he, at least that died with Crush, and I think he's actually technically lower on health. So, the siege continues, but he's alive only with a sliver and with his crush just freshly down, so maybe something even droid-related with IG. Hmm? Something dirty like that, right? What's IG's lead? Well, I crit chance. I mean, the crit chance is probably not bad. Um... Healing immunity basic is going to be nice. We can use T3M4 and HK47. So, you know, we're just doing all these sieges here tonight. It's not the best banners-wise, but I think we'll still get through. Hey, Dagger, thanks for the resub. Can you imagine losing Jamel versus Lord Vader? Oh, that's fun. See, Lord, uh, J you know, Dagger's usually the one whining about how, uh, about how it goes for him, Jamel versus Lord Vader in fives, but... Let's see. Let's think about this. Um, is HK-47 lead possibly better? More crit chance, more damage. Yeah. Yeah, I think HK is going to be the better lead if we're going to bother with this. Kind of malarkey. So... Let's see, uh, do you have Night Sister Spirit? I do. I do. I do. I'm listening, Northern. Talk to me. Talk to me, Goose. Spirit alone? Okay, I mean, I'm interested. You have my interest. So that means I could do something like this. Um, something like this. A Gassage lead with Spirit and Acolyte. That's decent big bit of damage. And he won't be able to heal much from the beginning, so that's a good thing. Um, I'm willing to risk this. Yeah. Alright, let's do it. Massage, Spirit, and Acolyte. Okay, here we go. Well, <laughs> I already marked it green as if it was already going to win for sure. Let's see how that actually pans out, yes? Yes, it's true. We can't crit, but she does have extra offense, and that's what we're hoping for. That's what the Asajj lead is for. Um, 
That's the hope, anyway. You can't really heal. The defense down's probably the best hope. And then... The basic is what puts us under stealth, which is what gives us the huge damage that we're looking for. Come on, you're almost there. Alright, there it was, guys. Jeez, okay. So, we made it through. 2 plus... 21, so a total of 23 banners for our trouble. Gruesome stuff. Alright, on to gas in the back uh, for the last last item for this wall. Um, I think we gotta try Wampa and then clean it up with something else. How's his gas situated? Does he have that crit damage triangle everybody's running? Uh, no, he's a traditional protection. So, that probably is helpful to me. Let's go ahead and see how this goes. Um, I'm hoping that it's like Wampa Jawas here to do this one. Yeah, yeah, the opener was not awe-inspiring. It's true, Northern. It's true. Yeah, that extra offense from Asajj League came in handy, though. It's, uh, it's not a game. Alright, here we go, guys. Into the Abyss with us. Wow, we're up to 57 viewers here tonight on Sunday. Fantastic. Okay, this part's not good. Okay. Yeah, this is all very bad. I remember this from the other day. I also remember Rex just, like, smacking the crap out of me, so that wasn't good. Okay, just stop all that if you please. Can I get the slap already? Dude, the critical strikes, you're killing me, bro him, with all that. Okay, so you've got the taunt, which means that we're not going to accidentally kill you. Um, the thing is, we want this, because I need the bigger hits. Um, okay, is it possible? Yep, alright, we forced the sack. So, at least, so, you know, if we're looking at a siege, at least we've got a situation in which, uh, Rex is the big bad. Yeah, alright, we got through this the other day. And how the hell did I do that? Hmm, alright, Wampa was plus one, so we managed to get five sacrificed. Um... Comment, one drop, gas, or, uh, sorry, five sacrificed, but Rex had, uh, didn't have healing immunity. Gas stood back up, Rex deleted. That's pretty much all you can say for that one. And mark it red. Yeah, this one's gruesome. One plus one. Okay. Um, what are we going to do here for you, then? How did I manage my way through this crap last time? Man, this was a mess, as I recall. Hmm. Gotta have just the right thing to do this. Hmm. Yeah, the high protection's a bear for the situation we're in. Yeah, Rex, yeah, Rex definitely hit us hard, Northern. There's no doubt about that. Um, let's think about this, man. Preloaded team. What do we throw at it? JKR's bad call. 
Darth Darth uh, Vader, Mom Mothma, Bad Calls, Treya, Bad Call. Maybe, maybe Iden. Maybe Iden. Maybe Iden. We'll give it a go. We'll give it the old college try. Have the Bam, uh, Bam Han Chewy here. We do not have Bam Han Chewy. We have uh, Ray Han Chewy on defense, so we have to hope that our opponent struggles harder than I am. All I have to do is get through this and then see, you know, what I have to fight through. We'll see. Um, did we already have Aiden assigned? What's our plan for top? Yeah, we didn't get too far into it. It's probably going to be fairly difficult up there. What? Alright, what happens if I don't do this? So, Aiden is probably the best plan. New Django B1 is not going to be good here. Um, I don't want to use some of these other teams. Baby. Baby, what's up? Child, you keep coming on stream and... All right, I'll be right back, guys. You have to maintain pants. Pants. Nudist child. Alright, hopefully we have addressed the nudity issue once and for all for this child. Alright, um... 
<laughs> yeah, at least the chair is dropping battles each attacker. <laughs> That's not even half bad, actually. Um, yeah, I'm thinking Aiden's probably still the best bet to go after this next. Um, at least we'll have Storm. Uh, I'm assuming that we do want death for the opportunity of like basic to land days and then into stun should we kill Rex. Yeah, just hope gas doesn't go at Aiden. I hear you, man. We, we do have to hope. I mean, the alternative is I could take in shore and, you know, assure that. Um, you don't have the expose thing going on, though. I mean, Stormtrooper, um, Stormtrooper does a lot, man, with those exposes. Where do the exposes come from? Yep, there it is. Yep, 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 unresistible. It's not bad. Yeah, sure, might be, might be better here. We'll give it a go. Let's see what happens. Basic. Yeah, you like Storm because of the, yeah. It is the more offensively powerful option and we do have a lot of protection to work through maybe maybe we take sure if this was a crit damage triangle gas but because it's not and we have more just protection to work through probably better to go this way all right let's have at it into the abyss okay so we get to do our initial pop um Go ahead and do this. That was a decent hit. Um, the basics not great. Big ol' hit on him. That was nice. We survived. Good bit of damage. It's not great. All right, he sits down. The good work begins. God, kill him. Um, this would dispel, and then you're going to kill here in a second anyway. You're about to stand up, so it looks like we have to basic. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to regret that decision, I think. Uh, you being able to be dazed now means that you can be stunned. Taunt is a good bit of business for us. Stun. Ah, the stun would have been hot. I guess I should have probably death marked looking back. Wow. All of that exposed was hot. So that cleaned that up lickety split, 34. All right, we're finally through at, uh, at great expense. At great expense. Um, we are through this front wall, so Iden, Death, and Storm. So one plus... What was that? What was that number? 34? Something like that? I don't know. Tell me what that number was, guys, and I'll correct it. Uh, how strong is his board? It's probably decent, man. We'll, we'll, we'll all see here together. All right. Uh, again, up top here, just for your reminder, we had CLS, 2PO, C3PO, the Shock, Echo, Arc, Dooku, Droidica, Magna, Dash Lando, uh, sorry, Dash Dadbot L3, and then Darth Vader, um, Sith Empire Trooper, and Talon. And then obviously, bottom wall here, we just got through JMK, Mace Cat, Lord Vader, Thrawn, uh, Maul, JML, Grandmaster, and Ezra, uh, Ray. Hoda Holdo, and then Gas Rex 5. So that was a bear of a wall. We had a lot of drops there, to be sure. But in the back wall, nothing too crazy, all right? So he, he's got a, a lot of stuff lined up for offense. We'll see what he does. Um, 
All right, so let's see what we got here. Let's write all of it down. You got fifth brother, ninth sister, seventh sister. We've definitely countered that with a couple things recently. Um, yeah, we've got uh, sortie, S0RT, T3, IG88. We got Fin Fin Po. Yeah, we'll figure something out for that one. That one's gonna be weird. Um, all right, Mother Talzin, Massage, Spirit, and then Boba, Queel, IG-11. It's not a bad team. Okay. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and go up top. We want to, I think, because everything's cheese in the back, we want to spend our remaining resources making sure that we get through this top. So... Who's the last team I forgot to write? Yeah, Darth Vader, Set, Talon. Okay. All right, against CLS, 2PO, C3PO, we are assured to be doing um, something different. I guess, I guess it might be Bad Batch because we do need a different solution. The high tenacity is a problem, but I don't think... You know, I mean, obviously, since we use Stormtrooper there, we can't do the traditional Thridian. And I don't want to risk doing anything else. Let me pull back out of this. Pull up counters. Let's have a look-see real quick. CLS. On Chewy. Chew, uh, sorry, Chew PSC 3 po Okay, JKR. Yeah, JKR can do it. Bad Batch can do it less reliably. Okay, so JKR, we can maybe assign up here to this. So JKR, I don't know. Um, Ezra, Jolie, something like that. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Shock, Arc, and Echo. Shock, Arc, and Echo. So we don't want to Bad Batch that one. That's for damn sure. What do we got for that? So yeah, we do have the Hux thing. That's gonna be able to take out the baddest ass teams that we have to deal with. Maybe Shock is one of them. We have Newt Django B1. That's a good team. Um, Dooku GG Magna, yeah, Dash L3, Dadbot. So, hmm. I'm thinking the Dash team, we can probably manage with Padme. Padme, Ahsoka, Mace, uh, Darth Vader, Set, Talon. Why do I? Why does that sound familiar? Why do I think I fought that before? Did he not set that on me before? No, someone else did. Darth Vader lead. Hmm. Okay. Uh, the real question is, do I have enough in the tank? Um, yeah, I think I, I think I do. I think it's gonna be, you know, we, we probably are not looking to have too many more drops here, if we're being frank with you, but, uh, yeah, aside from that, we should be alright. Now, Troopers is also apparently a reliable counter, um, when you're faster. So, we can think about that. We can do Veers, Dark, Piet, think about how to map out what we have. Uh, Veer's Dark Piet may well come in handy against this shock team. Because how fast is she? She's 330. Alright, so she's these guys are probably not... Alright, yeah. Yeah, that's actually faster. Wow. Yeah, not too fast for my troopers. So maybe Imperial troopers there. Not 100%. Dooku, GG, Magna. Um, a lot of things can beat this. Where you at, my dude? Dooku, GG. Um, Magna. So, best banners look like it's Bad Batch, but JKR seems like a pretty smart move. So right now, maybe JKR can go for the Dooku. Um, we know that Trio also handles business there. 
Uh, yeah, is there somewhere that I think I need Trio more urgently? Probably not. Um, I don't know. Trey Asian Nihilus. We'll we'll write that in for now. Darth Vader, Set, and Talon. Um, that one is interesting. There's a couple ways to get around it. That I've got. Hmm. Wow. Uh, Mom Mothma, Kyle Katarn, and Pow, 100% win rate, 8 battles seen for 55 banners. So let's think about that. Um, wow. Fascinating, if true. Oh, Fennec. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a terrible win rate. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, yeah, Hux, Hux does the job out there on that one. That doesn't surprise me. Maybe we pen in the Hux, but I thought that was also a pretty cool idea. Uh, oh yeah, Treya also handles business there, too. So Treya, this can go here if we so wanted. Uh, Alright. Yeah, JKR is going to be a popular crew member today, I think. What are we gonna do? Um, yeah, that that dash. Yeah, we will be able to handle business with Padme. I'm not too worried about it. Okay. All right, CLS. Um, we can't thridi in you, so JKR is reserved. We could troopers you though. So that yeah, you know what? Let's finish planning out the rest of the board. Because I guess we can do Imperial Troopers for the Finn team, so that would handle that. But Mother Tal's and Asajj and Spirit could be some kind of problem. What do, else do we have? Yeah, Troopers is your go-to. I hear you, man. Um, yeah, how to employ Newt Django B1? Looking at the teams that we have... New Django B1 would probably do very well against um, the Mother Talzin team, so we can pen that in for now. Boba Quill IG-11. Boba Quill IG-11. So he's going to do his AoE first and then his rockets second. Um, the Quill is really fast, so they're going to get amped. Yeah, that could be bad to go out with Bounty Hunters. That one's probably one of the most dangerous teams on deck. Um, hmm. Looking for Boba Lead. Him? Yeah, there he is. Okay, where are you at? There it is. Wheel 11 Okay, so those are all high win rates. Yeah, JKR and Treya are the best. JKR is a good idea. And Treya would be the best one. Okay. I need something unconventional, gentlemen. Don't tell me what I can't do. Uh, 29 attempts of Mon Mothma, Pow, and Hoth Rebel Scout for 93.1% win rate, 56 banners. I think that might be worth running. Mon Mothma, 95% win rate. Ooh, I like that better with Katarn and Hoth Rebel Scout. So, we'll give that a go. God, I hope it's enough. 
Um, sorty. What are we going to do about sorty? So the trick is we'll get through that first life on sorty with her or one of her allies. Uh, fifth brother is another one I have to think about. Yeah. Yeah, where are we going to figure out a home for Oralid? Dooku would stealth first. GG would AoE Magna. Yeah, that's not a good one. There's something to brewing. There's something I can do. I have to figure it out though. What's the right answer here? That's not a strong win rate at all. Okay, Fennec, Brief Sam. That's not something we have. Oh, how curious. Mother Tall's and Doc the Zombie. Yeah, that seems un improbable. Um, what else do we have then? So we have the Hux team. We have some kind of Darth Talon thing. We do have Bad Batch. Bad Batch is not yet assigned. Bad Batch can go in a number of places. Um, Maybe Hunter, uh, Echo, and Tech can go against the Shock T team. That could probably work. Bad Batch would definitely work against CLS. Shock T would definitely be taken down by JKR. All right, let's let's do a battle and think some more. But let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's do the Padme fight here, yeah? Because now we got now we have the real project ahead of us. Ahsoka and Mace. All right, let's see what we can't do. We've we've got a good bit of damage we'll have to put down, but that's what courage is for, yeah? Yep, that is some painful stuff right there. Um, I think that I just want to kill you in any way possible. Wow, you just dodged me. What an ass. Are we doing this shit again? Are we doing the Draz shit where I'm getting dodged again? Turbo dodged for days? Uh, basic, I guess. Take a lot of damage if you're gonna have to take damage. Take a lot of damage if you're gonna have to take damage, asshole. Um, all right, more of this. Um, you can have all your turn meters sapped by this and a stun, that's not bad. Uh, possibly stun you, that's a good call. Basic over here, let's finish him. Get this down and big hit maybe. Okay, so we get to keep that. All right, we'll be okay. We are gonna be okay. The dodges, though. What's up with the people freaking dodging me? 
You don't even have some freaking dodge mastery, Boba. Piss off. Just die. Ass. 54 banners. Alright. So that one worked. Seriously, that I have to. The aura. We have to figure out aura grief Mando somewhere. Hmm. Maybe there against Sorty. against the fifth brother team. I don't know, maybe the Hawks? Something like that. What what are the hot tips on Sorty right now? Ooh, yeah, we still do have Darth Vader. Darth Vader handles business. Darth Vader, Thrawn, sure. Ooh, yeah, that's a good one. Let's do that. I actually want to do that fight right now. Yep, I like that fight just fine. Let's do it. Go, 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 go. Okay, so he could do a turn meter swap. Um, yeah, I think that's kind of hot. Let's do the crush. Swap to the boss. Let's do this here. Um... Bonk you, maybe? No? Alright. Hey, little one, what's the matter, big girl? What's the matter, big girl? Well, not right now. Not in a battle. We'll have to wait until Dad's done with the battle. I know. You want, you, want to, you want to summon your dad away, but... Unfortunately, this is not really the right time. Aw, oh, man, the timing of all this is so bad. And, uh... Hey, kiddo. I love you, but not right now. I know, I know. Man, to be stuck behind a taunt while fractured is pretty galling. Okay, so now your ability blocked. Hey, what's going on, Desicrim? You got some weird stuff going on, Darth Vader. Darth Vader, I need him to do good things for me, but we got tough times ahead. I swear to God, kid, if I catch you one more time tonight without this diaper on, I am going to just tan your little hide and hang it on the wall. On the wall. You hear me, miss? On the wall. You think I won't do it. You think it's a joke. You think it's a game. You think it's a lie. But it's not. It's the God's honest truth, child. It's true. Yes, it is. Yes, it's true. Yes, it's true. I will make a hat out of you. I will turn you into some manner of apparel, child. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You'll be fine. Just give daddy to the end of the battle, and I'm sure it'll end up all okay. 
Come on, let's have it. Get the shit out of him. Let's go, boys. <laughs> All right, he drops that. That's a good one. What are we coming about that next turn there? <coughs> <coughs> That's the good one. Yep, there it is. 56 great banners. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's take another drink break, guys, while I figure out what Miss, what Daddy's little princess is looking for. <laughs> oh, I know, big girl. We'll get you figured out. All right, let's go on drink. <laughs>
All right, people, we're coming back. That took a little while to sort out. Sorry for the delay. It's just uh, one thing after the other, yeah? All right. That sorty thing, man. Wasn't I looking into that? There's something up with sorty. Oh, there she is. She's made it onto page three. Look at you. Sorty T3 and IG88. Yep. Exactly so. Well, okay. I mean, Hux works like a charm against it. That's neat. Mother Tal's in Daka Zombie. That probably is the ticket. I don't know. I'll think about it, though. My Mothma is unassigned right now. So Mon Mothma, hmm, it's kind of a weird team, I don't know if I like that so much. Mon Mothma, uh, Katarn, yeah, that's, that's what we're gonna do. That's where <coughs> Mon Mothma goes down here. So Mon Mothma, Katarn, Scout, and then I guess we'll risk the uh, bounty hunters against the Boba Quill IG-11 team. We'll give it a go. Um, they will go ahead of us. There is a danger. We'll think about it. But the Mamatha Katarn is really compelling. Yeah. Mamatha Katarn is pretty good for that. Alright. Uh, let's go back up top then. I think we've got most of our battles sorted. Yeah, Darth Vader, Set, and Talon. So we still needed to get this fully arranged. Hmm. What are we going to do for you, old boy? <sighs> what are we going to do for you? Hey, Northern. Uh, can you let the little missy know it's time to settle down? Daddy's got some teams to kill. Uh, she was just hungry. I mean, she also... I mean... So, you know, um, I would love to be potty training her right now, but she, like, the only thing that she's capable of speaking is, like, one, two, three, like, very simple things. She knows some signs, but it's very difficult to potty train a child that's speech delayed, and um, it's a shame because her speech is the difficulty, but she's ready to potty train she is taking her diaper off all the time. She is ready to be done with it. Like, she's giving me a whole bunch of signs, but I think it's extraordinarily difficult to do when you can't, like, re reliably communicate with her, you know? I would love, love, love to not have to deal with seeing her run around without a diaper on. I'll, st I'll tell you that, though, friend. I will tell you that. All right, um... Hmm. Three kids. <laughs> yeah, they are little me little menaces. <laughs> oh boy, are they ever. Uh, JKR, how are we gonna do that? What do we got Jedi wise? There's something there's something lurking here, isn't there? There's JKR And then there's Bastila. So Bastila Ezra something. Bastila Ezra something. Bastila Ezra Jolie, JKR, Kyle, and Hoda? JKR, Kyle, and Jolie? 
Ooh, Bastila, Ezra, Old Ben. JKR. Um, hmm, I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, Davey, five kids. That's right, I forget, man. You you be fucking. It's true, man. Uh, you, you are just... You were just out here slaying it for everybody. All right, JKR would do the job. Bad Batch would do the job. What did I ultimately decide I was gonna do with this? Yeah, I think JKR. So I think Ezra might be excessive here. We have a lot of offensive power, but let's consider real quick. Um. I don't think we'll come close to needing that. Bastila. So, let's think about it. If we had a Bastila lead with... Old Ben would be kind of nice. And he would be very fast. So then we could do something like Bastila... Oda, and no attacker of note. That's kind of crap. Hmm. You might be able to do the job, but it's not a lot of damage. I don't know if I like it. The extra assist call is going to be handy. I don't need Joe Lee. I do need Ezra. Alright, we'll do it like this. Do we need to... <clears throat> do we really need another Jedi team, or can we overload this team? I don't know is the answer, Book Hunter. I, I get the feeling this is going to be a roster stretcher. So... Yeah. What are the other teams that, that exist? So we have a BAM Scoundrels in, you know, low caves. Yeah, there's not a lot left. This is the only real good attacker left. Probably better to just go like this. So, who to go all in on? <clears throat> Probably Chupio. Um, yeah, let's do it. Let's consume these. Okay. Um, all in. Let's roll. Woo lad, that's not good. That's again, not good. Um, that's calling an attacker. Uh, the heal would probably be good. Lucky that you are That's not good. How about it, JKR? I need I need a little something here. Cause they got a lot of turns moving on us, so how about how about make with the magic, make with the ass beatings, yeah? Alright, there we go. I had I had supreme confidence the whole time. Uh, no reason to doubt, no reason to be concerned, you know? That's that. 56. Alright. 
All right. <clears throat> I gotta figure out this Darth Vader thing. Darth Vader 1, Talon the other. <clears throat> Newt Jango B1 was for the mother Talzin back there. <laughs> you doubted it the whole way, Book Hunter. I don't blame you, man. I don't blame you. What are we gonna do with this Darth Vader thing, man? Freya works there, then maybe I should solve it the other way. What about Dooku? Filter off the GLs, man. Too much. Too expensive. Hey, Escape Podcast, rating in with 11. Thank you so much, man. How did it go for you? And welcome, everybody coming in from the raid. We're, we're fighting our way through a slog here, so I'm just... Referencing what the hell I want to do here about uh, old Dooku. Old Dooku. Traethron, Nihilus. Um, maybe, Tyler. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Coming around to something. It's easy enough to die to if you don't go in with something appropriate. So what are we gonna do with you, man? You could stun to get past easily. Hmm. What about Empire? I don't know. Yeah, 
Yeah, Darth Vader's gonna come around pretty quick to Merciless. Hmm. We gotta get around the taunt quick and then dogpile him with damage. So what's gonna be the way to do that here? What about something like this? Bam. You and... You an AoE. You have an AoE and you can inflict days, it's not for nothing. AoEs only are welcome, I guess. Maybe you. So you get to crush. You get to do your thing at 271. Yeah, it's possible that we could just end up getting deleted out by Vader. Hey, what's going on, Liam? Trying to think our way through this mess. Maybe I don't need to have new Django B1 reserved for... Um, Yeah, see, new Django B1 leaves us still the problem with the Tawn. Alright, so what if we move Bad Batch down? How else do we deal with Shock, Arc, and Echo? That'll be the next problem to solve, then. We can shift these around. Qui-Gon teams do it, Jedi teams do it. Alright, we'll make that a problem to deal with when we get to the back wall. Um, so we'll promote that. When we get to Shock Echo Arc, what is the actual solution going to be to that? So the Fin Fin Po might be a little difficult, I grant you that. Yeah, it could be bad. It could be bad. Hmm. Maybe the Hux team goes there. Okay. Let's approach it that way for now. Yep, alright. We've got our we've got our battle plan figured out. Let's do this with Bad Batch. Glad we got that sorted out. Had to think it. Yeah, bow can dispel buffs. Yes, you're right about that. Um, but that's not the, the strength that we're looking for here. Let's go ahead and roll this out. Oof, what a mess tonight. Let's see if we can't close it out, though, fairly quickly. This one's taken such a long time. I didn't intend for all that. All right. Good. Maybe some stun action. That's pretty nice. Pretty damn nice. Um, so if I swap over to you, then you're going to force me to call. I would rather just chop shop here. We take a counter. It's not the best, but at least we've got our defense pen coming around on 
hopefully something real good for the attack. Come on, get lit up, buddy. I need some love. I need I need a little love. Come on, Darth Vader. Come on, you bastard. You're gonna pop off here in a second. It's not the best. Okay, basic, 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 and then crush for the finisher. Not the most terrifying crush set, right? Let's go after Talon. Walk over here if you please. Um, finish you, if you don't mind. Okay, that's not great. I, I wanted Tech to get more turns, so we could do some more healing love. Maybe a little of this. Yeah, at least we got the health topped off on everybody, so a probable 54. Yeah. Oh well. Alright, 54 it is. Chopping through. <clears throat> Alright. Um. So let's see. Treya, Sion, Nihilus, roll. Next one. here if you please um yeah we have to so i might as well just hit you like that the mark is problematic yes <clears throat> dooku's at full health though so that's nice um we might wait out the turns for dooku No, Dooku's got his life steal. He'll be topped off. At least that's what I'm telling myself. Alright, it's all kind of good. Okay. There, yeah, that's alright. Yeah, not bad at all. Bonk. Okay. 54. Yeah, that Boba Quill IG-11 is going to be tough, man. This Shock T, man, I really wish there was something extra super cheap. What about First Order? What about First Order, um... Fox and Watt. So they'd be stuck on Kylo forever. They don't have a healing immunity. We would be able to eventually hatch it down Shock T and do the do, I think. Let's give that a go, because I'd rather save the Hux team for the back wall. Crew. Arc, Echo, uh, might behoove us to have the health tech on Fox with the kind of damage they might put out. Let's see, let's see how this goes. And hey, uh, Jack Daniels followed me seven minutes ago. Appreciate you, man. Thank you. All right, let's think about this. So tank tech out on you. Okay. All right. All right, asshole. Uh, stun you, because that's good. Tank out to you. Let's do weapon tech. I need you to just take a lot of turns. You're, you're the engine... You are the great hope of the future. You need to just kill. 
Mightily, I might add. Just keep on going. Keep on going. You got this. You got this. Um, that'll be a bad counterattack. Uh, yeah, that would be a pretty bad counterattack. Let's just face it over here. There, this is hopefully a kill. Oh my god, she dodged. Are you freaking kidding me? You gotta be kidding me, bro. The dodges with the people. The people and the freaking dodges. Alright, let's go ahead and lock you down. Probably should have done the protection restoration. It's all okay. Protection recovery. Okay. Nice big juicy hits. Um, basic again. Okay. So how about it? Nice, good solid stun. I think we're in a good spot. There it is, 57. Okay, that was absolutely gorgeous. Glad we decided to run with that. So that means we still have the Hux team for dealing with the back. I feel pretty good about that, guys. Alright. We'll figure out ships in a minute. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Let's figure the rest of this out. Let's do Sortie. This one was going to be Mon Mothma. Little scout, right? Yep. Alright, let's roll. Time for the blitz, people. Okay. Okay. You don't want to say thanks, but in the not really sense of the term. Okay. That's a good one. Get rid of him. Come on, give me that, give me that basic love. There it is. All right, lots of offensive power down. Sorty herself is gone. And just one little IG alone in the dark. Fifty-four. All right, got him. Finfin Poe, we were gonna troopers that. Uh, Boba Quill, IG-11, we can Hux now instead of risking with Aura. Okay, uh, Newt Django B1 for the Mother Talzin. So yeah, I think all of this works. Let's do this. No bonus turn meter gain. That's pretty spicy here. Let's beat them. Beat them on down. Okay. That's a dispel, so that's important. Yep, that's not great. Alright, that's also not great. Okay, the buff immunity part of the show is not great, boys. Um. Dispelling Tenacity down is probably nice. AoE damage is also probably nice. Um, maybe you? Jeez, we're not, we're not doing much in the way of damage. Okay. Gotta say... Not too impressed with how this one's going so far. Yeah, that's that's bad, guys. That's Boba popped off. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know about this one, ladies and gentlemen. Gotta kill two lives to make that work. Now you've got your phone back. I think probably a withdraw. So this one failed. Let's comment it up real quick. One drop. Um, IG 11's taunt came up too quickly. 
uh, after Hux dispelled stuck on IG-11. So that's pretty much the story there. I don't know what we'll do for that one. That's going to have to be some kind of Aura's thing. Um, troopers could do that. I think that there's probably some kind of Night Sister path through Fin Fin Po, right? Because the, the whole idea of the contract, the social contract of Fin Fin Po is based on high banners. Which implies the existence of a worse, less favorable route, if needed. What you got? What you got for me? What you got? Something in the list. Something's gonna pop up. Hmm. Not a lot left, guys. Not a lot left in the tank. Did I see something Night Sister related? Elite of some kind with Juhani. Yeah, with a serious damage with uh, Cam there. That can do it. New Django B1 can do it. That doesn't surprise me terribly. Hmm. Uh, they're tall, so what are we going to do with you, buddy? I have an idea for that. do this. <clears throat> I have an idea. Uh, what have I done with Tass? That's right, yes. Second time watching and this is painfully slow. I hear you, Gambit. It's uh, it's not always quick and when we have nights where we're dropping more, that's, uh, that's the way of it, unfortunately. It's not the way I want it to be, but them's the breaks, friend. Alright, let's give this a go. You feel like you're watching your CPA do your taxes. I I feel you, man. I feel you. Some of these have to be pretty carefully deliberated for us to have a snowball's chance in hell of actually winning. Um, you're gonna AOE, so that's probably good for me. Let's let's take the risk on the poop stance. AOE. Yeah. Okay. Ten ten of these, so that means that you are Probably night night. Uh, yeah, let's do it. That's a good one. Okay. Um, just a basic finisher, if you would kindly. Yeah, let's heal you. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Uh, do this. Uh, finish the job. There it is. All right, 52. Got through that one. Which means that we can use Newt Django B1 for Fin Fin Poe and then Veer's Dark Piet for this Boba thing. Let's do that. Veer's Dark Piet. But you see how I have to take time to push and pull my teams around? try and make sure that I can actually get through. That's uh, that's the part that, you know, obviously if I'm having a night where I'm, f you know, having a more of a fail situation. So here's the thing. Turn meter's kind of favorable to 
No, we have to do this, which is kind of ass. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, it is kind of ass. But, um... I believe in you, Dark. Let's do it. You and me. Come on. Okay. Uh, you come back from that. But you can be yet be killed. There there he goes. Okay, so Boba out of the way. Main primary threat condition down and out of the game. Turn meter's favorable, that's just basic. And yeah, we're sewn up. Nice. Nice job. Alright, handshakes for everybody. Nice job. Nice job. Alright. Beer's Dark PA gets us through the, the door on that one for what was that? Zero plus thirty-three. Okay. Yeah. So this goes here, and then the first attempt that we did on Boba was the Hux team, right? Yeah, Hux. Market red. Okay. Then Fin Fin Po, Newt Django B1. I wish I knew daggers. So I know if that's a compliment or the worst insult imaginable. <laughs> yeah, dagger. Dagger enjoys his fair, uh, fair shots of trolling me. It's true. All right, let's do this. We're actually doing pretty good for time. I know uh, there's spots where there's lulls, but we're not pushing three and a half hours, which is definitely something we've done before. We gotta take our lumps here. We lose him. Hopefully this works. Uh, heal you up. Control in the neighborhood. Okay. It's not not exactly what I'd hoped for. Uh, turn meter wise, things are looking kind of grim. We do have that out. Uh, maybe prudent to go for just the big hit here on your boy. Yeah, it's hard to re it's hard to say that I regret that. Um, cooldowns that I'd like to push back would be yours. So let's just do that, friend. Keep healing up Newt, if you please. Um, you definitely get the extortion out there on you. Keep up with the healing Newt. Rebuilding your stacks. You get to go night-night. Oh yeah, that is just too beautiful. Okay. Wow, we get to finish with everybody on deck and everything. Isn't that nice? Let's just do the sweep since you don't have any debuffs. We might as well light you up. Okay. Nice. Very, very nice. That's the end of the line for you, friend. Alright, 56. All squads down. All right, fleet time, guys. The real fun, the real fun. All right, Chimera, Executor, Standard. So that'll be a finalizer. And then he has Radis. okay. So, against Chimera, what do I feel like using today? Um, I guess we can see, I guess that's probably a pretty fast TIE Fighter, yeah? Yeah, Relic 7. It's not good news if we try to do that with Rebels, so... I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Hmm. 
Okay, 202, I think you're too slow. Yeah, 207. Alright, so that means it'll have to be that way. All right, let's knock out these fights in the order that I think they should be done. Let's go ahead and do Executor first with Finalizer. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. Grab these. Uh, six, seven. At this point, we just want to make sure that we can get through, so let's not leave anything to chance. <laughs> the cooler than the other side of the... Alright, Gambit says, I can't help thinking of the late Stuart Scott's expression, cooler than the other side of the pillow. That's Tass's aura right now. Is that the bourbon, or are you always this even keel? Uh, I'm never really flying off the handle, as far as, like, even when I'm having a bad night, but uh, I'm not going to lie to you, friend. The bourbon helps. The bourbon helps. Put forth on Houndstooth. Go over to Razor Crest, basic. Take our lumps with the mass. We do third on itself. Get on out. Um, do second here, mass on the Razor. Take even more lumps, unfortunately. Might be the end of our of our friend. Uh, we have to do fourth onto Houndstooth, keep him locked down, go in on Xanadu, big hit. Hopefully we're not crit to death. Um, we do have Mark on our Echelon, so we'll actually choose to sap his turn meter and prolong the taunt. It's all good, it's all good. Okay, now we come on over here, we call out special forces. We need to use the ability block on Houndstooth. Okay, we get dodged, we get double dodged, so that's uh, extra super damn unfavorable. Let's go ahead and just do the ability block there, because uh, this is not great to deal with, with the, yeah, with the boba, but I guess it's better than the other options. Um, yeah, so we're too, so Houndstooth is too low turn meter. Yeah, we have to do this the hard way. Um, I up and just make sure that we kill you. How's Houndstooth looking? Houndstooth will put will push up his turn meter unfavorably far. If I do this, okay. Um, this would push out turn meter, allow us to maybe stun. Can I get the stun? The stun was hot. The stun was hot. Uh, we'll just basic over here, get rid of the foresight. All right, now things get a little more serious. So they already have their contract fulfilled. Not a lot of benefit to us in doing something else. Let's think about this. Um, we can go after this ship pretty commandingly right now. Let's go for it. Um, basics, since we're in the neighborhood. Keeping you locked down is probably perpetually awesome. You're about to call in a reinforcement or heal. What's the turn meter look like? It looks unfavorable if I let you go. Let's just do that. Alright, so you get to do, yeah, you get to kill some damn buddy. Which is a shame, it's not what I wanted for us. Um, that's a good one. Yep, keeping you stunned is still pretty damn great. Um, basic calling you. Putting significant damage on the IGQK is probably not bad. Oof, god damn man. Hey, stop that shit, friend. Uh, okay, what are we gonna do now? 
So we can definitely kill this one. We can clean it up if we had to. Let's do this. Hit you because you can. Aye, aye, aye. Okay, so this can be a stun. Yeah, this is a good one. Yep, I'm glad we called these in the order that we did. These all make sense to me. Oh, come on. The dodge? You're really going to dodge me, asshole, at this point? Come on. There it is. Ha! <laughs> ha! Oh, God. The roughest one shot of all time. But damn. So we were just replete with... We had the uh, the all-time worst circumstance happen. We had Houndstooth both fail to get ability blocked and dodge the stun from crew off that first reinforcement. And we still pulled out the one shot. Granted, for 59. It's, uh, it's not a priceless work hard. But damn if we didn't get through. Alright, let's see here. So Rebels is completely hoed out here. I do have Negotiator. Negotiator has its problems with this fleet. I'm, I'm not here to, to lie about that. Um, we do give more value. Let's think about it. Uh, we're not going to be out ahead of them regardless, right? Their TIE Fighter and my TIE Fighter are the same speed. Um... Trying to think. So. Is it is it strictly better? It might be better to start with fives here. That. So we'll have the extra protection here. That's going to be helpful. I think this is probably the smart way to do this one. Yeah, I think that's the way. So negotiator and then home one. All right, we'll see how this goes, guys. It could be a complete mess. We'll find out. All right, Lord Ryan, but for the grace of God, yes, we got through that one, and hopefully we'll get through this one. Here we go. First time you've seen me have negotiator on offense this season, so surprise! All right, so we get stuck behind the taunt straight out the gate, but that's what this is for. So hopefully, you know, a lot of damage is taken there. We sweep this, but the taunt comes back. It's unfortunate. Yep, we get we take our lumps here in this respect. Uh, we'll do the big hit. Yeah, not great. Alright, Interceptor comes in, does Interceptor stuff, marks our JKA. Not ideal, guys. Um, and that was all through everything, man. That was tough. Uh, if we do anything but this one, we'll end up losing... Uh, we can live without the taunt for a while if we can kill you. Yeah, you're stuck there, but not anymore. No taunt to vex us. We just gotta get through. It doesn't have to be pretty, guys. Let's just make sure we can get through. Uh, go ahead and set you up. Hopefully for success. Um... Basic. Alright, good. Got him out. Okay. Um, we'll do this. Do this. Gotta get rid of you somehow, buddy. Um, let's talk about it. So... You'll have your taunt come around pretty quick like that way. We don't need the heal right here, right now. Hey, sweetheart, what are you crabbing about? You're coming in at just the right time to bug Dad, so... Couldn't, couldn't be better. You couldn't ask for better timing, really. 
child. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Precious <laughs> girl, it's so sad. What is you so sad about? Why are you so sad, big girl? Uh, why are you so sad, big girl? <laughs> Ooh, that AoE <laughs> might be actually really helpful right here, yeah? <laughs> nah, it won't be lethal <laughs> to anybody. Um, let's do the clone. <laughs> Miss Krabby, what are you doing? Daddy's biggest crabby girl. I know. So sad and <laughs> You see, Daddy's got to get through this fleet battle, and then we can do whatever it is that you're pretty much wanting, kid. I just got to get through this somehow. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's rough, Yeti, but we'll... I, I think we'll be able to get through on, uh... on Radis. So it should be all right. Right, big girl? You think we're gonna get through? You think we're gonna do it, don't you? You have faith in us. You believed the whole time, didn't you? Didn't you? Goofball. Didn't you believe? Just, just, didn't you just believe it the whole time? Didn't you just believe it the whole time? Didn't you believe? We'll get you figured out. We'll get you sorted, little one. Yeah, you see yourself on the camera. Yeah, you like to see yourself on the camera. There's the little girl on the camera. That's right. Okay, so we got three on that first attempt there. So three with Negotiator. Yeah, that's a tough fight going Negotiator against that. Malevolence is probably the way to plan for that. Um... <laughs> Malevolence can get through Chimera. It's not great banners, but it is a one-shot. Whereas Negotiator is a lot tougher to deal with. So give me just a minute to figure out what Miss Krabby here needs, and I'll be right back. <laughs>
All right, guys, we're back. Very limited time edition because I have got to finish this up before my daughter turns my skin into a hat. She wants attention from dad. Not a great time. So we got to wrap this up so we can have some quality dad time. Uh, where's my Lando's Falcon? There you are. Alright, let's sew this up. Okay. Put this up on the tank. Um, in on you. Sweep. Okay, that's kind of nice. Disability. Go ahead and call you in. Let's do that. Strip that. The dodge. You gotta be fucking kidding me with your dodges, bro. Piss off. Piss off maximally. Of course, you're gonna dodge me too. That makes sense. What with you having dodge up? Wait, no, you don't. It doesn't make any damn sense. Okay, okay good. You didn't dodge that one. Alright, alright. There it is. Okay. Radis. 50. Okay. Yep, we're gonna make a full clear. And uh, what a project it was, eh? Alright, let's do Rebels. Three. Uh, oops, wrong one. Uh, four, this one, it's only got the two ships there. I think we're going to be okay with just this, but on the off chance I'm wrong, bring in Phantom. All right, guys, you've been here through thick and thin. We're almost to the finish line. Let's have it, friend, to get through. That's a good one. Basic, get through all that. God, that that is just heinous. Every once in a while, everything lines up. That should be it. End of the round, folks. 73 for the cleaner. Alright. Let's see what our opponent does. Alright. So, 1918. Abysmal score. Uh, not the lowest score I might win with, though, if I if I should win. So our opponent has quite a bit ahead of him. Um, we'll see how it pans out. So if you were showing up here a little later for fleets, I'll, I'll cover it very briefly here for you. Against Chimera, the situation was I had a negotiator for attack, and it really was the best fit to use because Rebels would have been truly, truly disastrous. At least we were able to take out the Imperial TIE Bomber and clean it up with Radis. So, Negotiator didn't work successfully on its own, but we got three on the first go. Radis took up 50, so 53 on the clear. Against Executor, it was a standard Executor. We took it out with Finalizer. We had extremely unfavorable RNG. Still got through for 59. 
Against Radis, uh, we had home one, no impediment there, dusted it for 73. All right, down bottom front, boy, did we have a hell of a night, guys, and it made for quite a bit of work. If you want to hear stuff about my defense, uh, my opponent didn't attack, so it's very brief. Catch it very early in the VOD. Against JMK, we tried Sith Eternal, and it failed because Mace had us ability blocked when we went into ultimate, so we used C armor GBA, and that did not work. Lord Vader, Ninth Sister, and Royal Guard cleaned that up for 33 banners, though. I'm just as surprised as anybody, and it did work. Uh, we managed to get through. Against Lord Vader, Thrawn, and Maul, at first we went, went in with JML, Grandmaster, and Zerus, and we got rid of Thrawn and Maul pretty, pretty well. Um, but in the end, I think we were just lacking just a little bit of damage needed to get rid of that red health on Lord Vader. In the end, it was Asajj, Spirit, and Acolyte that cleaned that up. Uh, so 2 plus 21 for a total of 23. Against JML, Grandmaster, and Ezra, we used Darth Revan, BSF, and Malak for 53. Against Ray, Holdo, uh, and Hoda, we used Starkiller, EP Marjade Starkiller for 54. And then against uh, Gas, so our first attempt, we went in with Wampa and forced uh, Fives to Sacrifice, clean that up with Iden, Death, and Storm. So one plus 34 is 35. Absolute bear of a front wall, very costly, no doubt. Uh, in the back wall, against Fifth Brother, we went in with Darth Vader, Thrawn, and Shore for 56. Against the Sortie team, we did Ma Mothma, Katarn, and Hoth Rebel Scout for 54. Against Fin Fin Poe, Newt Django B1 for 56. Uh, Mother Talzin, Asajj, and Spirit, we did Bam, Vet Han, and Kira, really nice, for 52. And then Boba Quill IG-11. At first, we tried the Hux, Red, and First Order TIE Pilot. That did not work at all. Uh, we dispelled the pre-taunt off of IG-11, but then IG-11 put it right back and then we were kind of stuck. And it didn't work. Uh, Veer's Piet Dark Trooper put that down for 33 banners in total. So that's the uh, whole story there at the bottom. And last but not least, we'll cover top front. Against CLS 2PO, C3PO, we used JKR, Ezra, and Hoda. Originally, I wanted a 3D in this. But we had to use Stormtrooper with Aiden, so that kind of threw off the plan. Uh, nonetheless, JKR handled business, 56 banners. Against Shock, Echo, and Ark, we used Crew, Ar um, Crew Fox, and... Uh, why did I write that? Huh. I, I, we used Crew, Fox, and Watt for 50... I, was it 57? Jeez. It was, I, I want to say it was 56. Um, maybe it was 57. Jeez. What what a what a good battle, though, that one was. All right, Dooku, Grant, uh, Dooku, Gigi, and Magna. We went in with Trio. That was 54. Against Dash, L3, and Dadbod, we took in Padme, Ahsoka, and Mace for 54. And Darth Vader, Set, and Talon, we use Hunter, Bad Batch, Echo, and Tech for 54. So, <clears throat> not a lot of 57s, guys. Very rough clear. We're really hoping our opponent just getting straight jammed up. That's pretty much our best hope at a, at a win here. Um, <clears throat> God, what a mess. So, yeah, it, it was a lot of fun, though. We, we learned a lot in making the most of my roster, I guess, because... Man, there were some narrow little apertures that we were able to get through. How many GLs does he have on offense? Um, he's got his share. But I also know from previous behavior. So, you know, he's got only two for offense. And uh, he has quite a bit of defense to go through yet. So we'll see what he does. We'll see what he does. Um, all right. Let's go ahead and plug for the Patreon real quick and get ready to get raided out. Uh, Yeti, if you're not spooled up yet, this is probably the time to get running if you want me to raid in yet. Um, all right, let's go over to the Patreon. So check out patreon.com slash Uh Anybody looking to move up in GAC, learn uh, some tips, tricks, be able to get some advice, pick the minds of top players, hang out with me and my buddies while we do all of our planning and stuff like that. It's just a, a great community, sub-community place to be, 
And uh, yeah, if if you're you know you're hungry and looking to try uh, you know trying to find how to push and pull your roster, get that maximum benefit and see how far you can push yourself. I've got something that can help you. So feel free to check that out. I'll put the Patreon link here in the chat now. Uh, also, you know, get at me on Discord. That's the best place to follow what I'm up to, uh, when my streams are going live. And uh, in the case of rounds like this where our opponent has an attack, you'll find out uh, on my Discord server the next day when the opponent has made the move. Uh, I'm glad you like the coffee mug, Ryan. I didn't even know you had one, but uh, we'll get there in a second. Uh, also, let me go ahead and drop my YouTube link. If you have enjoyed this and you want to see previous episodes of the show in addition to some of my other content, check out my YouTube. We got something for everybody. Well, hey, Ryan, I mean, it's up to you. You can subscribe to the appropriate patron tier if you're really interested in the mug which is on the next slide. So yeah, for certain tiers of Patreon, we do have merchandise. We have the mug, the t-shirt, and the hoodie. Uh, all these items actually stand up pretty well. The hoodie and the mug are my favorite. Most everybody likes those real well. The, the shirt's great, nothing wrong with it, but it's also just a shirt. That mug I use almost every day. And the, tea, the hoodie, obviously, probably not here again until fall, but them's the bricks. All right, let's thank the patrons themselves, the fine people that enable me to do what I do, um, help me justify the hideous amount of time that I spend on this game to my wife. Let's go with VIP Access, Ryan, White Wolf, Sam Vimes, Jobin4527, Sweens14, Lego Cal Rizian2187, Deadpool Cal28, Not Sure4256, Johnny Batawa, and Sir Boss. Thank you all so much for your support. Appreciate you guys. At Jester's Club level, Absolution, my buddy. Glad you're, uh, you know, excited here for what uh, the new season's going to bring. 3 vs. 3 is uh, just about done, but I think you've had a good time here. And then Jester's Club Platinum, Eric Rose, my number one coaching client. I know uh, you've enjoyed yourself here in threes and learned a lot about the counters here. Uh, let's get you shined up and ready for fives, right? Let's get that done. All right, let's go ahead and uh, also thank our, you know, we have special thanks going out for a few select individuals. Yoda Force, my guild master uh, in Shadowlands Vanguard. You know, he'll drop in on the stream, drop in a ton of subs and biddies for people. So just want to thank him for his, you know, enormous support. Uh, Mrs. T, Mrs. Tacitix, my fantastic wife, thank you so much for your patience and tolerance for all the time that uh, this game takes from my life and consequently from you. So I appreciate your tolerance and your sacrifice, my love. Uh, and then, of course, to Dagger, my right-hand man, administrator on my server, my consigliere when I'm planning my own uh, defenses and stuff like that. You know, I'll, I'll usually run my final plan by Dagger, and he's... Uh, he is just uh, so valuable to me, just as my sounding board. He helps people in my community. He also occasionally drops uh, good donations on your boy, fat donations on your boy, you know? Big, uh, you know, big uh, stream stuff for subs, and man, I just appreciate the hell out of you, Dagger. You mean a lot to me, and I guess that's the bourbon trailing off on me now. Let's go ahead and get back on over to the main scene and get you guys raided out. Let's see who's up and running. Oh, special special news, guys. Um, before I get you rated out, there is something special I wanted to say. I have been invited to join the Gambit Alliance. When, you know, a couple, a, a, a little over a couple years ago now, I, I got into the game and Zareth was one of the people that I idolized to pick up a lot of technical skill in the game. And now I'm actually having the opportunity to join the Gambit Alliance and regularly produce content alongside, you know, Zareth and, uh, you know, Solo Base, uh, End All, Be All, and uh, all those guys. They're all great, but, you know, uh, it was Zareth that really inspired me to get started. So, you know, I'm really, I'm really feeling that energy, guys. You know, that, uh, that energy that's like, uh, work until your mentors become your peers something like that so that's hot 
All right, but I'll, I'll be updating you guys about what all that means. We'll we'll see how that goes. Let's check and see what's going on on Swaga. Um, ba -ba -ba. We got... I don't see Yeti quite alive yet. And I'm going to need you to get on quick here, buddy. I got a crabby child in the background that's not happy. Daddy's got to go do daddy stuff. Figure out what's going to make her a happy camper. Live in a minute. Okay, live, he says. Is it a lie? Is it a truth? I keep refreshing and I don't see a Yeti online yet. It could all be an elaborate fib. Roham. All right, we'll see what happens when I hit the raid button. Um, so Yeti. We go Yeti. Man, you're killing me, killing me. I hear you, little one. I'll be with you in a second. There he is. There's Yeti. All right, let's do that now. W-G-O-Y Oh, why? Aw, oh, come on, Yeti. It's not popping up here yet for me. You make it hard for you, boy. I ask you to spool it up and you don't do it until the very last second, my dude. Alright, we got it started. We got the raid started. We'll see you here Sunday night, 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, for week four, round three, the absolute finals round. Hopefully I can finish in the top ten and then have just a crazy week one when we go back to five versus five. But we'll see here real soon. Uh, we'll pop on over to Yeti. I'll be on, I might be on Gambit later here this evening, but we'll talk again real soon, guys. Take care.